what's up guys welcome to this video i really hope that this is going to be my last video where i am in gold so i am at 87 lp right now at least i think that it's like that and probably when i'm going to place top four at least top three i am going to be in platinum so um <laughs> all my life no matter if solo q duo q flex or i don't know what i was hard stuck in gold no not hard stuck i'm just i, I don't think i'm much better than gold so my highest place rank placed was like gold three ish maybe gold two and now i'm gold one in tft you can say mm, tft not that good but tft is actually um also a game like all others like auto chess there there are um tournaments for auto chess i don't know for tft i didn't research that so that's like you can be good or bad at tft as you can be in league of legends so this is going to ho hopefully going to be my last game in gold and um i wanted to share with you how i got to platinum so for all the other guys that are um like stuck or don't know how to get out of this elo um i'm going to show you how you can do it so um what i'm doing right now um we got the trade sector and i am as you could already see in my last videos i'm banking on vanguard mystic um i already got one <laughs> vanguard that's not too good second vanguard right now but at the beginning vanguards are strong but not op um the point where this gets op is if you have uh, when you have four vanguards and at least two mystics including cassiopeia no matter how many stars she has with morello and at least tier of the goddess hopefully a rapid fire cannon because that makes her basically invulnerable um, because she's just staying back um, and she deals so much damage because of the blue buff she just needs one out attack to cast another ability and the morello makes her deal so much damage no matter how much hp the opponent has um, so what i'm trying to do right now is i'm trying to get as much gold as fast as possible while i'm going to buy all the vanguards and mystics that i'm getting so i already got cassiopeia she is actually pretty useless in my opinion if you don't have the items because she needs three order attacks to deal 700 magic damage over 12 seconds i mean that is okay and that can scale during the game but let's count how many seconds this round is going so if you have a nice front row then she can deal a lot of damage but let's see how long this round i, I got a beefy front line um so this round took 22 seconds so she could have gone maybe two complete rounds of her um of her abilities through so that's not a huge amount of damage especially in the late game for now it is it is okay 
but I am trying to lose anyways. So, um, the thing about losing is you get money too for being on a losing streak and a loss streak. So that's what I'm trying to achieve right now while I'm still getting some money from my um, space pirates. So I just killed one unit until now. So that's not the best way for space pirates to get money. But um, hopefully that will change soon. Um, so at least I want to be last or second last until the first shared draft here because then I can freely choose what item I want and that is essential for my plans. Um, because like I said Cassio without the items is just useless. And now I got those two items and I think I want the tier. Yes. Uh, let's get the tier. Uh, the good thing about the tier is even if I have three or four tiers of the goddess, that is fine too because other champions that cast uh, cast abilities that are pretty useful benefit from it too. So, for example, I had one game where I had Soraka. I think a two-star Soraka with two Spear of Shoujin and one Runen's Hurricane. So what she did was she casted like one odd attack and then healed the whole team for 550 HP. Then one odd attack then heal again and that's so OP and that's why Tear of the Goddess is probably the one of the best items to get so that's why I why I chose uh, to get Zaya with Tear of the Goddess in the first chat draft okay so probably we are going to win this round because I don't know maybe he doesn't get the, what the trade sector is but he doesn't have one single two star unit yet and I mean I I didn't really look for two star units I just looked for vanguards and mystics and um, of course the space pirates but I don't know what what he's doing okay so I got my first um, war win it is okay if I can keep up my win streak for now, but I don't think that it's the best way. So I really hope that I could lose this in the last round in this round to get to a 5 loss streak to get plus 3 gold in this round and plus 3 gold in the Terra Busters round. Terra Busters? Ah, Terra Busters, I was always pronouncing it the wrong way. Okay, yeah, so we're going to lose that round as well because he has three two-star units plus um, Jace that is dealing so much damage against my vanguards. But doesn't matter, it's fine. Um, still, it's, it still really sucks that I lost, I uh, won the last round because that cost me like six gold, something like that. Don't want to do the math. But it, I'm pretty sure it's around 6 gold. Okay. So, um, quick guide for this round. If you want to win this, place all your units here. Or all your units here plus one tank here. If you have like I do for melee champs. Because graves, um, other than you expect is a melee champ. He has 100 attack range and that's what all the other champs have too. So he is a melee champ. Um, the good thing about Poppy being here is that she casts her ability to the champion that is the furthest away. So when, he attacks, uh, when she attacks here, she casts her uh, coin to attack this unit here. And you really want to 
go for the e, uh, one after another with the Terra Bursters. Okay, so um, we got two two Star Vanguards already. Um, hopefully, we can get Nautilus too soon. I'm probably going to sell um, Leona and Poppy. I'm always struggling to find the names for the units that I'm buying because I'm just usually looking at the pictures and not looking at the names down there. <clears throat> okay, so I think he's going for the same strat like I am. He already got the rapid fire cannon for Cassiopeia. And you can can already see she dealt 2.2k damage. Okay, he got a um, two-star Cassio, so that's um, increasing her damage. So usually you really should buy this, but not um, the way I'm going right now. So I don't know if I should put in Cassio right now. Yes, let's do. It. Why not? So let's put in Cassio uh, just to deal some damage and try to to start winning maybe. So as you can see, one auto attack and then she casts her ability. Of course, that wasn't um, really lucky because I had one assassin and Yasuo charging on her, but. Um, I think she casted three abilities and she still did 1000 damage to champions. That's actually pretty pretty nice um, regarding that it's a one star unit at the moment. And she has like no items. So let me see. Let's try to get a beefy front line. <clears throat> so try to protect Cassio so she can deal a lot of damage. Okay, that plan didn't work because he has a Blitzcrank. But my Cassio can still dish out one. Uh, I don't know if the second ability went through. Yeah, it did. So let's see how much damage Cassio is dealing. 640. Yeah. Let's. Okay. For the fact that she got hooked by Blitzcrank and basically instantly destroyed by Blitzcrank hook and Ash arrow. I'm still on a loss streak, that's okay. Because I'm go uh, getting plus 2 money every round. So now I need Morello. Already got the needlessly large rod, so let's get four gold plus Amorello. <clears throat> That's a win, double win, because I got four gold, so I can either upgrade my XP once or um, reroll twice. And I finally <clears throat> got my Morello. So the only thing that I still need is a recurve bow. But that's... I mean that's optional, that just makes Cassio more secure because she can stay at the... Um, at the backline. I don't know why I, I rerolled here, I just did it automatically. So... Tuck, get the Morello for Cassio. Um, one one thing that I want to mention here, yeah, just let's sell those. Don't need them anyways. Uh, one thing that I'm always doing is I'm combining Karma with Mordekaiser because uh, then he gets so much 
shielding because with his ability karma's ability um i mean now he got destroyed because karma is one star and mordekaiser is one star and he got cassio with uh, healing reduction i mean that's obviously not reducing shields but her ability okay i can see mine um here you can see and uh, reducing the effectiveness of new shields by 50 for a cent so yeah um that's why it didn't last for long but if you have like no i do now a two star mordekaiser and maybe then a two star uh, karma or even three star mordekaiser and three star karma and um, then it, it really gets broken because it's so tanky and one of the most op items with this comes uh, with this um, pair is recurve bow plus uh, chain vest is it called chain vest like the armor item i think it's called chain vest because that gives you plus two percent damage for every damage that you take or every crit that you deal so basically every time he takes one damage then he gets two percent more um, damage that he deals and that is like so op for his aoe um, field where he deals damage around him Okay, so I'm at level 7 now. Let's just get Jace in. Um, and what, what I forgot to mention is uh, for this comp you really want to get to level 8 as fast as possible. Level 9 is also fine because you can add multiple, multiple champs uh, that can be useful for your comp. Oh god, I, I wanted to get items, not champs. Okay, sell this, sell this, sell this, sell this. We will once. Okay, I think I'm just going to change, change, change those. Already sell Poppy. That, or, uh, that, that was... <coughs> I mean it was kind of good because I got so much gold but gold isn't good I got I don't know how much 8 um, plus 6 I guess 14 gold that's what I got here from selling those units plus a Casio and a Karma that I need or did I buy the Karma it actually doesn't matter the thing is that items are much more valuable um, than gold is because I'm getting 10 gold plus my wins or loss streak anyways e every round so items are much more valuable because you can get them in the shared draft or when you fight against um, monsters so um, what was I talking about before I was interrupted. Um, yeah, I was talking about uh, the level 9, what you can use. So if you have, like, the best comp that I usually prefer is this, what I have right here on the screen, plus um, Soraka. Yes, <laughs> plus Soraka. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Um, so you get one mystic so you have four and you get one star guardian so there are some options what you can have with level nine if you keep poppy and don't sell it for um, like I don't change it for a Wukong then you can put in another star guardian because you already have Soraka and Poppy and then you have three star guardians and every time they cast a spell they get bonus mana 
I don't think that uh, that is really that good because you don't rely on those champions. Um, let's get the coin. You don't really rely on those champions. Um, the next thing that you can do, if you don't have Lulu but you have Bart in here, then you can get another um, Astro. But I don't think that this is good either. I mean, of course, you have two champions that benefit from this, but Bard is at level 9 so useless because he doesn't deal any damage, you don't need the experience, and that's yeah, not what you want because you want a, a champ that is dealing damage. Okay, <clears throat> so um, right now I bought Bard. Let's first focus on this round. No, there's no really good item that I can use. Um, I don't know. Let's get this Ionic Spark. This Ionic Spark is actually... <laughs> I, I just neglected it. But it's actually pretty good for Jace. Um, or Wukong. Because Wukong dashes through all the enemies and in two grids of um, away from him he reduces the magic resist by 50% and that's actually pretty huge for the damage that Cassiopeia is dealing and of course himself and the same thing the same thing is for for Jace yeah he's just dashing I think I will give it to Jace yes um, so we got our last champion here, that's um, Soraka, and now we are just re-rolling and trying to get as many 3-star units, or let's start with 2-star units as possible. Um, so right now Soraka at 2 stars isn't healing that much, she doesn't have any items, I don't really rely on the healing yet. So I just put her in the back row, now she got hit, hooked by Blitzcrank, that doesn't matter. Because my Cassio is dealing the damage, my frontline is already pretty tanky. And that's why I don't care if she gets hooked. Could change her with Lulu, because Lulu right now, same thing. Um, she polymorphs. How many? two nearest enemies but that's like not um, influencing the outcome of, of the rounds yet. If I'm getting to Soraga level 2 then I'm going to change her with Lulu for sure because um, then she heals for 550, I mean 375 is okay but if I'm getting one more tier then I will do that. Okay, so he got the OP Cassio too. So I really need to kill her before she kills me. It's like okay, he this this guy will battle me for, for the first place I guess. Because let's see, yeah, she's going to win. Um yeah. <laughs> okay, so my Jace did a lot more damage than he did. But his Casio just destroyed me. No chance, just destroyed me. Okay, so in this round, um, hopefully, really hopefully, we can get. So let's change those two now. One recurve bow and maybe also a tier for Soraka. Perfect, of course, <laughs> would be here now two tiers and two recurve bows, but I don't wanna, wanna over force my luck here. I just want one recurve bow and I'm fine with that. Come on, come on, recurve. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Got two items. Okay, that actually is kind of a bummer. Okay, so I got Jenna here now, and 
what I am thinking about is getting to level 9 and place Jenna in here. Because if I get her to level to a 2 star unit, I don't think that I should. <sighs> Think that this is worth it because my main damage is Casio, anyways. So, she doesn't need the attack speed, and I don't need my auto attacks to deal. Yeah, I'm going to sell her. Okay, so I think I'm. I have to spend all my money on rolling in the near future, anyways. Okay, so let's see what we already have. We have just Lulu left as a one-star unit that actually doesn't really matter. I I think Lulu is good, but it's not the champ I'm relying on. Of course, he, uh, she polymorphs the four nearest champions and, and I did 10 more bonus damage for 3 seconds. But I don't really need the bonus damage. Cassio is dealing so much damage anyways. And I'm winning against everybody apart from the guys that have a... Is everybody building Cassio? Damn it. <laughs> I, I think this this OP comp is um, making the rounds and everybody heard of it. Because like <laughs> everybody is building it, let's see. Nope. Nope. One. Two. Three. And me. Three guys out of eight are building this comp. <laughs> that's that's one clear sign that this is broken. Okay, so the assassins attack my Lulu. Oh no, it was pretty unlucky that she didn't polymorph them. But it, it's not influencing the outcome of the round anyways. The six, there's no chance. Okay, so I'm winning against this guy, and I'm really hoping that the other guys are losing some rounds. Damn it, again, nothing that I can use. Okay, so I think I want the wall wall marks. Damn it. Okay, then let's get the Ionic Spark for my Wukong. <clears throat> or maybe... Maybe... Mordecai is... No. No, let's get it to Wukong. So I think I have to spend those. Um, okay, I, I have to keep this in the recurve bomb, but I think I'm going to give a GA to Wukong for now. I mean, just because I can, and yeah, why not? Because I don't think I will get two tiers anyways, because the next round is um, Kane and he drops only full items. So I really hope that this is going to be a um, rapid fire cannon, but the chances are not good. So there's still nobody eliminated. Usually around the cane round is where um, when you survive this 
you are top four so as you can see um, possibly four guys can drop out in this round um, probably there's going to be two or three that are going to drop out at least two I'm pretty sure no I'm not I'm not sure but um, the chances are pretty good that two drop out okay I'm fighting against one of the upper guys without Cassius so I should win win this or maybe not what what did so much oh no did so much damage, man. How? Come on. Did so much damage. And just physical damage, I have 300 armor. Okay, so this is an okay item, but not the best. So, one dropped out. And after this round, I'm going to spend all my money. Um, so let's for now sort my my units. So Kane is going to drop some money in. Um, usually five, now four. I think there's five. And the item that he's showing us. Um, so, okay, um, let's sell this guy, damn it, okay, let's sell Mordekaiser, so the reason why I'm selling Mordekaiser is because the chances are just 20% of, I'm, I'm not getting any good units. Like so garbage, Just so annoying. Okay, so yeah, I'm winning against him. He quit anyways because he doesn't have. He just has a rapid fire cannon, and like I said, this item is just useless for Cassio because um, it just makes her safe, but. Having a safe Cassio without any damage doesn't make any sense. So there are still two guys behind me who really have to drop out in the next few rounds. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm playing against oh, one with Cassie and blue buff. So these rounds are just... I hate them, because you can just lose. If you lose, you lose HP, but if you win, nobody loses HP because you don't play against anybody. But I'm, I think I'm going to win this round, yes, nice. Won this round, although his Cassio dealt more damage, but my front line is better. Okay, so now I have to think. Okay, get this for sure. These two. Okay, sell Cassio. One free roll. Shouldn't have sold Cassio. Damn it. Okay, I. I couldn't have known that. How much money do you give? 8 gold. Okay, yeah. Cassio. Yeah. I, I, yeah, that was kind of unlucky. Okay, so this is again the Irelia. I'm already top 3, so I probably should have enough points to get to gold. Uh, to, to platinum. I don't think I'm out. Yeah, I'm not out, but come on, come on. No. 
but let's get it here or yes, let's get it here okay so I, I I really think I have no chance to get um, past one of those two guys they are just his, their comms are just too good he deals so much damage and he has a Cassie with all the items that he needs so kind of sucks that I have so many gems with items that I'm no 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 not with items so he's on the verge of being three star there's two left there is two left Casio okay there's some left but I should have changed Lulu Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, win this, win this, win this. Yes! Okay, we're still in the game. We're still in the game, we're still in the game. One free reroll. Come on, Jace, come on, Jace. Okay, that's. Okay. Fuck this Wukong. Yes, that was huge. He's now dealing so much damage and healing himself for so much. Okay, um, I think nobody has a Blitzcrank. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I, I was not sure, but I hope nobody has a Blitzcrank. So this guy is the guy who I lost to because he has the Aurelia that is killing me. But probably... Irelia is dead. Okay, that is huge. That's just huge for me. My Jace is just destroying them. My Cassie is still alive. Pretty nice. Okay, so... Um, actually, in this round, maybe I can get a red buff. <laughs> okay, one free reroll. No, let's, let's leave it at this. Because when I reroll, I don't want to sell any of my units. So when I reroll, I will just be stuck with two gold. And I want either three gold for Cassie or four gold for Soraka. So I just leave the, mo uh, the money, the four money that I have here for gold. <coughs> So usually it drops like one part item, okay, so just gold, come on, come on, one Casio, one Casio is all that I need, or one Soraka, no, come on, come on, um, let's give this, come on, <laughs> one Soraka or one Casio, then I would win for sure, but I'm I'm winning the the rounds anyways. Just hope that he hasn't much stronger champions. Does he have a two star orgot in his bank? <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, is my Jace dead? My Jace just died. Fuck. Okay, my Jace just died. Okay, so... Oh, I'm second! This guy died, so... I think I'm going Platinum, no. I heard it, I'm Platinum now. Okay, so that is actually really huge. I, I've never been close to Platinum. And now I am in Platinum 4, so that is really amazing. I'm still trying to climb, maybe get Diamond um, one day, but that's just so far away. But being in Platinum is so huge for me. Um, I've never been there, 
and that's just ridiculous really nice so i hope you enjoyed this um i i tried to show you how i got to platinum with this amazing comp i hope they won't patch it soon i i, I hope they won't have a patch soon that patches this comp out um and i i, I think until the new patch is coming this comp will be borderline broken and you can use it to climb the queue and I started from silver one I guess and now I'm platinum so this is like just free elo I hope you can can use this and if you can just leave a like because I think that's worth climbing in elo and if you want to see more of those videos, maybe not, not this video exactly, but like fun comps or anything like that, or maybe just the other videos that I'm posting like magnet fishing or some calisthenics or I don't know, and just subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that, and then you will always be updated to my latest videos, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully see you in the next video.